<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Major Minor. Uh, so I took a little break because I felt like really under the weather. Um, mainly, oh shit. <sighs> No, I know it's recording. I'm fucking stupid. Um, anyway, I felt under the weather, so I took like a little week long break, but now I'm back. Um, I was playing Higurashi in the meantime. It's a fucking way better game than this garbage. Like, this is gonna. That was a good palate cleanser, but now I need to get back to this, so. Uh, where were we? Uh, chapter six? Okay. I think we're like good with true ending flags. I don't need to worry about it. <clears throat> okay, now we're in the throne room. Velasquez trembles in fear, unsure of what to say for the first time in ages. I... I didn't... You didn't what? Expect us so soon? Or perhaps you didn't expect us at all? Oh dear. I must say, I thought you'd be dead. Actually, I wonder if I could do like an accent. I don't know what like they'd sound like. Seeing you is quite the surprise, father. Velasquez takes a few steps back. He clutches his scepter, preparing to defend himself. Oh, so that's how it is. <laughs> Living off the power in that scepter. And it looks like it's earning dry. Tell me, do your subjects know the truth of their existence? Or the truth of yours? Something tells me you're still deceitful. Just as I thought. Old habits die hard, I suppose. I'm surprised you've maintained this facade. Nagi, please. Oh god. <laughs> That's like actually the worst. Oh no. I'm 99% certain that this character and the other character in place are the, like the ones that he made himself. And oh my god, this looks terrible. Oh god, please what? Do you tell me. I'd love to see you grovel. <clears throat> You should beg for your pitiful existence. I only need more time. This world will be saved by my hand. By your hand? Don't be ridiculous. Everything you touch makes a plagued end. And soon, ta huh? Takamagahara will fall. Or whenever it is you call this place now. You can't change the truth of your world. You have a kingdom that houses the dead. Father, you rule over a rotting carcass. Your subjects are nothing but maggots. They ride through its cavities for succor. So tell me, how can you save something long since dead? Something built on the carrion of a woe. This is so terrible. Oh my god, it really did get worse. It's possible. I beg for your lenience. Don't make me laugh. You've become a pitiful man, Velasquez. You're not fit to be in a position of rule. Your world is in my hands now. I will teach your people one simple fact. Salvation can be found through destruction. Nagi pushes Velasquez away, laughing loudly. Ha <laughs> ha! Fucking Titus laugh. His laughter echoes through the halls of the castle. Nami, sister, we must go. Oh god. Mm. Mm. Yes, brother. Oh, it's time for some divine intervention. Oh god, those are like actually the worst character design. I might even say that's worse than fucking Kayla. Oh my god. <clears throat> Kalen grips the bars of his prison cell. <laughs> Kabu remains fast asleep, fatigue faking over. Really? And what makes you think I do that? You're the one who stuffed us down here. Oh, look, it's Trump. I can't believe it. He finally lost the election. <clears throat> it was a lapse in judgment. Surely you can understand, Caleb. These things happen all the time. That's so. You let people starve in your cellar often? That's a pretty big admission of guilt. Uh, no, it's not what I meant. I meant that people often make mistakes. You should learn to word things better. You think you know being a politician. Or is Riley not here to pull your strings? Caleb. There's no need to mock me. I'm willing to pay for your services. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need protection. This has gone too far. I don't think you understand my business. I offer protection for money, yes, but only to those who deserve it. Shut up. Like, you, you can't even call yourself a mercenary if you're not willing to work for whoever. Fuck off. You locked us up in here, and you continue to let us starve. Kabu's on the verge of death, you know. By Riley's orders. 
player's shouts echo through the chain, th through the cellar. <clears throat> Kalen is shocked at his us. It, I'm like dying. Holy shit! Kalen is shocked at his sudden outburst. Please understand, Kalen. It's not Riley's orders that bring me now. It's my defiance, my own free will. I know what needs to be done. I must step down from this election, and the threat of Riley must be quelled. So please. Player grips the prison bars as well, trembling. I want you to guarantee my safety, and I want you to end Riley's life. I'm not an assassin, player. You can't pay me to kill somebody. But Riley is a threat to my safety. You're paid to ensure that safety. Kaylin, I fail to see the difference. You're still a murderer. You're just validating it in your own way. I didn't come here to argue semantics. I don't think- When did Kaylin ever say that he killed anyone? I don't think you have to kill anyone to be ensuring someone's safety, do you? Like, what the fuck, fucking big assumption to make? Especially with the pink fucking hair. I don't- I don't see him being a killer. Oh my god. <sighs> you can keep your money. The payment will be our freedom. I can't protect you from behind the cell, and you can't just leave Poppy to die. Of course. I'll retrieve the key from Riley's chambers. I expect you to be free within the day, but I'm holding you to your word. If I start to doubt you, I'll kill you. Kaelin is unaffected by the threat. The player glances over at Cobb and stops to think. Wait. I feel you've come to terms with death. A mercenary can't expect to live forever. If I doubt you, Kabu will die. It will pain me, but it's necessary. I need a guarantee of your compliance. Watch your tongue, player. Your life will be in my hands. You don't want to take advantage of me. Oh, but I think I do. He releases his grips on the bars and turns away. <clears throat> Make yourself ready. I expect armed opposition. But I don't have anything. You, consf you confiscated all my weapons. I'm sure you'll think of something. I'd hate for your freedom to be short-lived. He walks away without another word. Kaelin turns to Kabu, worried of what may happen. <sighs> Don't worry, Kabu. I won't let him touch you, no matter what happens here. Would you like to see the game? Yeah, sure. I guess we'll do like another small round. Where are we? Seven? Okay, cool. We're like almost done with this game. <laughs> We're getting there, folks. <sighs> Chapter seven, the past we I'm like actually fucking dying every time I play this game. This game is terrible. Okay, where's this at? Rook focuses on his breathing, trying to calm down. <coughs> he grabs the bomb and places it beside- What? Really? What if he like accidentally set off the bomb? That'd be funny as hell. The green light signals its continued safety. Why did he choose me? His mind is still assaulted by the prior events. He grips the sides of his chair, trembling. I don't understand. Everything Max said was right. The choice should have been obvious. He sh his shout echoes softly through the conference room. He jerks in fright as he hears the reverberation. For a moment, he thought it was someone else. <sighs> now you're scared of nothing. Good job. He laughs softly in relief. After a few moments pass, he attempts to stand up. But his knees buckle, and he falls back into the chair. Uh, damn it, Rook, you're a mess. He starts to type away on his tablet, but suddenly Max's words strike fear into his heart. No, that would only prove a right. Putting his tablet away, he attempts to stand once more. This time he uses strength to overcome the buckling. His knees are weak. Like mom's spaghetti. His mom, his knees are weak. Mom's spaghetti. Got it. Just, uh, no running any marathons. I should see who's up and about. He takes his time with slow, heavy steps. Eventually, he arrives at the conference room doors. He notices they're broken in and heavily damaged. They sure went through a lot to save me. I guess I can't let that go to waste. They sure went through a lot busting down a door. He takes a deep breath before leaving the room. When he gets outside, he slowly scans the vicinity. There's no one in sight. Perhaps people are still too scared. Well, I can't really blame them. His eyes find their way to Singe's office. The door is firmly shut. I hope he's okay. I should probably go see what he's up to. 
going to have to take drastic action. He approaches the office doors, but before he can open them, someone calls his name. Rook? He quickly turns around. It's Jade, the psycho bitch. He can see the aftermath of tears in her eyes. <laughs> he can see the aftermath of tears in her eyes. That sentence in her sprite just doesn't... Hey. She takes slow steps towards him, like she's trying not to make any sudden movements. Perhaps she thinks he's still in shock. I... I didn't know what to think. I was scared I might not see you again. I was scared of that too. Honestly, I didn't expect to be chosen. I really thought I was going to die. I embraced it, but it never came. I expected my life to just flash before me, but I guess that myth isn't really true. He gives Jade a soft smile, as much as he can muster given the circumstances. You only see the most important moments, and the people that made them special. Rook. She locks him in a tight embrace, crying softly. Don't ever do this again! Do you hear me? There's so many people that care about you! I guess you're right. I had a hard time seeing it until now. My nose is always buried elsewhere. But not anymore. It's time for me to repay Minato. It's my turn to save lives. He returns the embrace, holding her closely. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to have a long talk with Singe. We're getting out of this convention center. Oh boy, back to the fucking throne room. Velasquez brings himself to his feet. He shouts in an attempt to stop Nagi from leaving. Wait, please don't do this. Hmm, you're still conscious. Father, why don't you just give up? You can't justify the salvation of Terra. But Terra houses billions, Nagi. You can't just condemn them to death. Father, they're already dead. You need to let go of these people. You're clinging to spirits. Unless you plan to use their energy. Is that why you've been housing so many? <sighs> I've heard about your rule, father. You lie to the world playing an immortal. I could kill you right now if I wanted to. Then why haven't you? I want you to watch the world crumble. I want to see your hope wither away. It's your turn to be used as a pawn. This isn't the time for vengeance, Nagi. Please, just listen to me. I know you have reason within you. Reason? <laughs> I can't say that I do. But I will hear what you have to say. I'm curious how you've justified this. You know how many worlds are out there. Each living, living, each living a solitary existence. What if we could all be united? You mean the Exodus Project? I've heard of your failure, father. Why would you this time be any different? Failure? I'm not so sure about that. Nobody knew my true intent. I assure you the project succeeded. Nunny. Yes, and now it's time for me to reap. I've waited so long for this day, Nagi. The galaxy can finally unite as one entity. So, you really want to open connections? Unleash your specters across the galaxy? Father, that'd be devastating. I'm more inclined to slime with Lord Player. No one should come in contact with Terra. You created a truly disgusting world. But at the same time... You have power. Is that what you've been doing, father? Collecting souls from Earth for harvest. That's twisted even for you. I can feel the energy growing within Terra. Means to an end, Nagi. Our thinking isn't so different after all. If they're already dead, what do we lose? Their final act would be our salvation. A grand way to go, I'd say. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'd use this power for other means. Nagi laughs, once again echoing through the halls. Thanks for telling me, father. Didn't think you'd be such an easy target. Ugh. So it's a race then, to see who can unleash this power first. I'd have to say I'm glad it's come to this. Yes, I suppose you're right, but I know exactly who will win, and I've placed all my hope on it. Oh, joy. Fucking game. Yeah, sure, I'd like to. I'd like to save. I fucking hate myself. It's so tiresome. This is like, what time? 
How long have I been here for? 14 minutes. Yeah, that's the end of this one. Um, I'll be back another day, though. So, ta-ta. It's been fun. <laughs>